So like I can teach you how to open a, a cold call, cold conversation, essentially flawlessly right now. Here's what you say. I'll just say it like you should say, you know, like it works, right? Everybody listen up um, and then try to do it yourself and it'll be hard. This will sound really easy. Ambush, you answer. I, and I'm using connect and sell. So I get a little beep in my ear. I don't even get to hear your voice. Right? So I got to talk on the beep. It's a little unnatural. And I'm going to say, hey, David, Chris here from Connect and Sell. I know I'm an interruption. <laughs> 27 seconds, tell you why I called. Now, when I said that to Chris Voss, he said, what do you think? He goes, huh. He says, perfect. I said, great. I got free consulting that I could have for the price of standing here talking to you. And my free consulting consists of, it's perfect. My life sucks, right? He says, yeah. no, 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 you don't understand. It's perfect. He says, here's why. When you say, I know I'm an interruption, and you hammer the word no, and you're very flat on the rest of it, and you're indicting yourself, you're throwing yourself under the bus. He talks about this in the master class called self-indictment. You've taken care of the biggest issue in your relationship with this person, because that's what they're thinking. That's what they're feeling. So you have shown them you see the world through their eyes. By the way, he said, you want to blow it? Soften it. I know I'm interrupting your day. Doesn't work. Because you're not basically saying I'm the problem. You're saying your day, whatever your day is, like their day sitting over there in the corner somewhere having lunch, right? Having a beer. Their day is not a thing, a person. They don't care about their day. You interrupted them. You are an interruption. You are a bad thing. This is why people won't do this. Nobody wants to call somebody up on the phone and say, I know I'm a bad thing because your mom told you and your dad told you and your teachers told you. And who knows, for some of you, maybe the police have told you, don't be a bad thing. I hope nobody had that happen ever. I got pulled over for speeding once. So I just wanted to say, you know, cop told me I was a bad thing, right? I didn't like that. Made my heart rate go up. My pupils got big. My hands sweated. We don't like being told we're a bad thing. We've been told since we were little tiny kids, don't be bad. That's what we get told. And, you know, plenty of room in that desert to bury a child is kind of the, that's out there. But we've all been told don't be bad. So here I'm advocating that you, you ambush strangers that you want to help. And then the first thing out of your mouth is, to say you're bad. I know I'm an interruption. And then and this is a point Chris made, which I really like. He said, you flipped your voice. I said, what do you mean? He said, you changed your voice from that hard, flat self-indictment to playful, curious. I said, is that like a name of a voice you guys have in the FBI? And he says, yeah, playful, curious. We call it the playful, curious voice. It's different from the late night FM DJ voice, for instance. And he said, you had a little chuckle. And you, Royce went up, he made his little hand motion. He said, and he mimicked me. He said, I know I'm an interruption. Can I have 27 seconds to tell you why I called? And he had voice go up twice with a little chuckle. He said, that's the come along with me voice. We're going to go somewhere. But he said, you also offered a solution to the problem. 27 seconds, you're going to fulfill a promise. Tell them why you called. And they get off the call with their self-image intact. That right there is the essence of the cold conversation. Now there's a lot more to it, but that's that's the winning move from which you cannot ever lose as long as you execute it right.